Because one are dead. And that's exactly what's going to happen to Wow, where to start? It's the 6th of November, day 15 of the video blog. And uh, right off the bat this morning, we had a bunch of does coming in here. One of them busted us right off the get-go. That got under my skin. So I went on a mission to try to shoot every doe that came within bow range after that. And I ended up uh, shooting one and then a second one, I'm, I'm pretty sure I hit it. Um, Zach doesn't think that, he, he does, he's not sure that I did, but I'm pretty sure I did. And then uh, it was just a prey to box after that. We had deer running everywhere, blowing and stomping. And I don't know, it just seems like this time of the year, the bucks just don't pay much attention to that. I mean. They just kept rolling through here. Uh, the last one to come in was this buck. We've got a lot of trail camera pictures of this deer. He's a tight rack 10 pointer. He's not the one that, that earlier in the season I was going after. Uh, he's a different one. But uh, he looked a lot bigger in person than uh, what he looked on the trail camera photos. Pretty cool looking deer. It's actually tempting to be honest with you, but Hopefully Skinny's still out there somewhere and I can keep hunting that deer for a while. Um, you know, if I put my tag on this one, then I'm done. So I'll, uh, I like to let him go. Might have been a mistake, but, you know, hopefully we'll see him again if, if, that's, if that's the case. But uh, we got several more hours yet this morning, probably a couple more hours. And then uh, I know we got at least one doe to drag out possibly two here. So it's been exciting so far. I mean, 6th of November, a lot of activity. We're right in the middle of a bedding area. And the does were just piling in here and the bucks were parading through trying to find them. We had a lot of action this morning in the spot that I really want to hunt this afternoon is the, is the stand that we hunted this morning, but uh, we had a fair number of deer find us in the tree and then I shot that doe and shot at another one and so it was kind of spooked up the whole the whole herd back in there so we're gonna let that rest um, the spot we're going to is is a place where our deer cross the corner of a field and we can look back into some real thick cover uh, off to our left it's an area that I planted trees into about uh, eight or nine, nine or ten years ago. It's really coming in nice and thick. We can watch that to see if there's anything that's moving through there or bedded in there. And then hopefully these deer, there's a heavy trail where they're, they're crossing and jumping the fence and crossing the corner of this field. And the hope is that, uh, of course, before dark, the buck that we're after, uh, you know, makes a, an appearance at least someplace. Uh, we still need to see this deer. Uh, we got a couple other places that we can try, uh, but. At some point, I might have to get the cameras back out again. I've been sort of staying away from that, but you know, this buck is just not cooperating with us very well. I believe he's still around here. He just isn't uh, exactly where we are each day. So we're gonna go give it a try here. It's a, it's a low odd spot, but it should be an enjoyable spot to sit because we should see some deer crossing. We've got about 45 minutes left of legal shooting time here th this evening. And uh, had one buck come past so far. And it was uh, pretty comical actually. I was sitting here and I looked off to my left and there's a scrape about 15 yards away. And I guess I'd been looking someplace else and all of a sudden he was standing right in that scrape. The first I saw him was standing right in the scrape 15 yards away. So I must not be paying very close attention here. But uh, so that's a good sign because that means they have to be crossing or at least he was crossing through here. And that's what we're hoping that some other bucks will do yet before this evening is over with. Um, he didn't come out of this timber. He came from either the timber on the other side of the field or the one behind me here. I've got this big field out in front of me here, so hopefully, uh, if nothing else comes by the scrape here or past the end of this point, at least we'll see something crossing further down the field so we can get a, a fix on what the deer are doing here. Whatever comes out, we'll show it to you. 
Otherwise, keep checking back and I'll keep bringing you these video blogs right here on Winky's blog.